Hey all, it's Lawrence from Express Unity, and today we're going to be looking at how we can add some virtual currency into our user's account. Now, I did say I was going to look into cloud scripting in the comments, however, I haven't really had the time to take a look at it um, in full detail. Um, but I have found another method um, that can be used that is slightly more secure than just the um, the Playfab uh, client api.add virtual currency. Um, so, what we can do is if I just drag the dashboard over here, um, in our items category, uh, catalog, um, we have a few tabs here. Um, so the items is what um, we would be using just for our normal like swords and, and, and other items that, that we got set up at the moment. But what we want to do is actually create a new bundle. So if we add a new bundle, you'll see we have the same item name. We can call this, for example, basic chest. And the display name can be basic chest. And description can be something like gives 100. What, what did we call the currency? Was it gold? I think it was gold. Gives 100 gold. Um, now, in the consumable area here, you want to click it to consumable, and by time, um, in seconds, by five. So basically, it's going to give the user 100 gold, and in five seconds, the item will disappear. Because um, you, you, you don't want this item to stack up in the user's inventory, because then if he somehow activates it again, he can just get 100 free gold every time it, uh, the item is called. Um, so, now we've got this bundle contents um, area over here. So if we go add to bundle, you can see we can add an item um, or we can add a currency. In this case, I'm going to add gold. Now we can select how much gold that we want to give the player. In this case, it is 100 gold. Okay, so... That be it for our bundle. So I'm just going to save the bundle. Alrighty, and it says down here what's uh, contained in the bundle. Um, in this case, we only have one item, and that is the gold. So let's figure out what we are going to activate it with. Um, for now, I think. I am going to just add maybe a UI element. Oops. That is not where the Steam folder is meant to go. But now I think I'll just add some kind of UI element that the player clicks on and then he gets 100 gold and maybe um, a timer um, is counts down to when he can click on it again. Let's just see if we've got any sprites there that look like we could use it. I was hoping for maybe some kind of chest. Um, maybe we can just use the gem that was up here somewhere. Oh, actually no, there are stuff. Alright, I guess we can use one of these. Um, so let's... No, we don't have an image yet. Let's create a new button. Uh, yep, button, and let's drag in our gift sprite, and preserve the aspect, and then let's just scale this, and let's just drop it in the corner. Now what we want to do is set up the login so that it actually gets our currency. Um, so in create account, we call login and over here so in the login request um, we need a info, info request parameters um, so that is a public up here so public get combined i'll get player combined info request params and we'll call it info and then this will be equal to info. 
So if we go back to the Playfab Manager, we will need to enable a few stuff on that. Um, okay, so we want to get character inventory. We want to... Yeah, let's also get the player profile because we're probably going to do something with that later on. Um, get title data maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then get user virtual currency. And I believe that is all we need. Yeah, that should be all we need. Um, so over here, let's create a public int. We'll call it gold, and we'll just start it up as zero, and then. In the successful result, you can do result dot, uh, I believe it's, let's see, yeah, it's this, okay. So like we did in the last tutorial, um, in order to get the value, we do dot user virtual currency and then the short code that we did, and this will be equal to um, the gold, oh goodness, the gold integer that we just made. Alrighty, so that will now get the value. Um, so that's all good. Uh, now, I think for now, let's just debug. No, no, let, let's. Let's make a UI element for it. So just a simple text. Um, and we'll put this text, just put it beside the, hello, can you move? No, it was compiling. And um, let's just put the text next to the GIF. We'll center it, make the text bigger, and just put like a default text, saying gold 50, something like that. Um, and then let's get a reference to that. So uh, we'll do it above the integer public text and we'll call it gold text. And in the update for now, let's, let's just, we'll update the text in the update function. Um, <clears throat> so let's do something like this we'll format it. And we did by default and that should be it but i don't actually think we oh did we i think actually the player gets 100 gold when they first register so since we actually haven't made any purchases yet um once we log in this oh actually i didn't sign it uh we need to assign the text Alrighty. so now once we log in it should, oh, 50 gold, okay. So we must have been 50 gold. Um, so yeah, okay, that's displaying our gold now. Um, now what we want is to buy that bundle um, with the button. So let's do public. Um, public void, we call it basic chess. Um, uh, actually we'll call it give basic chest. So, <clears throat> here we're going to want a playfab, uh, no, playfab client API dot purchase. Um, and that is going to want a purchase item request, we call it request equals new purchase item request. And here we want our bundle ID, the item ID. And I believe we made that basic chest. Um, and the request dot cost. Oh wait, uh, price. Um, we set no price to it because this is going to be say when you complete at the end of every level, you could call this function and it will give um one hundred gold to the user. Um, so this is 
safe in the way of users can't change how much currency they get. However, I'm sure someone could try and reverse engineer your game and then try and call this function. So it is in by no means uh, safe, but it is safer than just adding currency because then they can actually change the, um, the, the actual value that, that you get. Um, so let's pass in the request and then we want the result called back. And then we want the error called back. Okay. Not going to be a space there. Alrighty, let's just format this a little nicer. Cool. So, what we can do now is, let's see what we can actually get in the result. For item purchase, let's just do zero because we're only purchasing one. And bundle contents, let's see what this gives us. That's not quite what we want. Let's, uh, let's just do this for now, because it should give us our currency. It just won't reload it, I don't think. We'll see, we'll see. Um, so in the gift button, we can change the text to make it, make it bold. Uh, maybe we'll make it white, make it a bit bigger. And we'll just say something like claim. And now let's add a new on click event and the PlayFab manager. Let call our give basic chest. Let's save that. Alrighty, so if I click claim, nothing will happen that we can see. Um, Good thing, one thing that is good is we have no errors, so it should be working. And then the next time we log in, we should have 150 gold. Uh, nope, guess not. Uh, let's quickly take a look here. Uh, um, does give us 100 gold. Let's let's just do a debug over here debug the log error and we'll say error dot error message we may not have like a generic error but playfab might be giving us an error so let's try that again claim okay invalid input parameters um, is it because I didn't select the virtual currency? Yeah, I think this could be it. So in this case, we just want to use the gold. Um, but the price is still going to be zero because I do not believe we set a price, nor do we want a price on the bundle. So hopefully that should work. Claim. Item not found, okay. Um, bundles. Interesting. Now we might need to set the price here. Um, we'll just set it to zero and save the bundle. I'm just going to copy the item ID and paste it here just in case I misspelled it. I don't think I did. Yep, uh, so that looks fine. Um, it seems. Seems like it should be working. Um, 
actually I don't think I saved this. Let me save that. Oops. And then let's try again. Blame. Huh. Why did not found? Why is the item not found? Let's see, is there anything to do with bundle? Oh, um, catalog version actually. That's probably why. So it is item, I believe. So I'm just going to put this above, above that, just in case it makes a difference. And that should hopefully purchase a bundle now. Flame. Oh, well, okay. It's going all wrong. Um, let me just take a look. Wait, is it called items? No, oh, it's called items. Uh, so, <clears throat> rename that to items and hopefully this should work. So it's always the little simple things that break the code. If we click claim, okay, we've got no error now. So if we restart, we should now have 150 gold. There we go, we have 150 gold. Alrighty, awesome. So, honestly, now that um, we're going with this whole approach, I don't think the game idea I had is going to work it out all that well. So, I might have to come up with a new game idea um, to display this properly. But I mean, this gives you the basic gist of like how we can give some sort of currency somewhat securely. So doing it this way will give the player a static 100 gold and it will be absolutely impossible for anyone to change that inside the code. The only thing they could possibly do is call this function somehow using some sort of reverse engineering program. Um, but the, the likelihood of that happening is pretty low unless your plans for a game is uh, a multi-million player user base. <laughs> then you might get some problems. Um, but nah, this, this, is, this is pretty safe for now. I will continue trying to find some time to look into uh, the cloud scripting, but for now I think I'm probably just going to skip that. Um, just like I said in the comment, I haven't used it before either, um, and I don't really have time to learn it um, since I am in the process of moving. Um, so yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit hard for me to find time. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helps. Um, and I'm probably for the next video going to be thinking up a new game that I can make to display these functions that will work. Um, cause at the, like I said, the idea I had was just to put items on the screen and then the more items you had, the gold would increase, but that used the, um, the Playfab add user currency, um, which is, uh, not really secure. Um, so I want to try making a game with this claim thing here so maybe like at the end of a level um if you get three stars or something like that you get a chest or, or a gift that you can claim that you get 100 gold from um you could probably even do this on mobile devices uh where if they watch an ad um this gi uh, gif uh can uh gift sorry um can be uh, can be claimed um okay so I mean, that's it. Half the video was just me rambling and talking, but yeah. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, if you want to uh, if you want to see more, uh, subscribe. It really means a lot. Um, let me know what else you want to see um, in the comments, and I'll try and make it happen. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.